dark, and light. Please be sorcerer. Please be sorcerer. Please be sorcerer. Ah, okay. Um, you using the effect? What is the effect again? I'm gonna cut that question out. <laughs> I don't care. I'm tired. Hey there folks, Crossflux and Broken Ideas, back with the second episode of the 5Ds era of our Yu-Gi-Oh! progression series. That of course means that we have reached the crossroads of chaos. Gotta love the cover to this pack. Black Rose Dragon is perhaps one of my favorite cards of all time. I absolutely adore it, and uh, I didn't pull it in my first pack, but at least I pulled a usable Synchro. Psychic Life Transfer is not good per se, but she is generic, which means that no matter what deck I'm running, she's an option to bring out at any point in the game. 2400 attack, you know, can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Monarchs, not bad. Um, Crossroads of Chaos doesn't have a lot of good generic stuff in it, like no good generic spells or traps that are just going to be usable in any circumstance. Rather, it's got a few new archetypes and strategies, specifically strategies that I am looking forward to. Copy Plant and Botanical Girl here are definitely key pickups for me, as I want to build a plant deck. Early Plant Synchro was one of my favorite decks to run as a kid. I never quite had all the cards to make it, you know, competitive or anything like that as a kid growing up, but it was still quite fun to play around the high school with. Besides that, I do believe Morphtronic and Iron Chains were both released during this pack, so two primarily Earth-based strategies. Unfortunately, neither of them are that great, and they haven't really received much support over the years either. I think Morphtronic are starting to get new support in, what is it, Dark Strike Blast or something like that? Um, other than that, yeah, I highly doubt Iron Chain ever received new support. Which is a bit of a shame, considering the Iron Chain's main gimmick, or strategy if you will, is trying to deck their opponent out, which I always felt was really underutilized. Konami does not seem to like milling as a viable strategy in the card game. It's always an option, you know, oh, you can also win by decking your opponent out, but outside of dedicated OTK strategies that are designed to just deck your opponent out completely in one go, there haven't really been any archetypes or strategies that kind of, you know, slowly, incrementally mill your opponent. And I honestly highly doubt we'll ever get a strategy like that. Considering just how big of a deal the graveyard is these days, if you slowly mill your opponent out, you're not actually going to be doing anything to them. If anything, you're actually going to be helping them. But that's just the state of Yu-Gi-Oh these days, I suppose. It's a very fine balancing act. I do not envy the developers trying to come up with ways to balance and come up with new strategies and stuff like that. Cause this game evolves constantly, as you've seen through the progression series. That's one of the main reasons Broken and I have decided to do this, is it's a fun way for us to go back through the years and see what Yu-Gi-Oh! used to be like, and see what it is today. But already we have reached the end of our opening, and unfortunately outside of a few of the good generic plant stuff, I haven't really pulled any of the big monsters I was hoping to get. Specifically good tuners, like Plague Spreader Zombie was in this set. And yeah, unless I missed it because I was busy talking, I don't think I pulled Plague Spreader. I also didn't pull Black Rose. In fact, I think the only Synchro I pulled was Psychic Life Trancer. Ugh, that's a bit unfortunate. I was really hoping to pull a Queen of Thorns to go with uh, any sort of plant strategy I'd have. Because Queen of Thorns is one of those Synchros where it's not absolutely mandatory to run in a plant deck. So it's not worth spending petty points to get for a plant deck, but uh, it still does kind of suck that I didn't pull it. Oh well, the opening went about as well as I would expect, I suppose, but we'll just have to see if this changes anything up. So I'll see you guys in the lab. Hey guys, today we're opening 24 packs of Crossroads of Chaos. Flip. All right. Uh, 
Nothing much out the gate. Uh, not much I'm looking for this time. Uh, mostly I want Plague of Spreader Zombie and I want pretty much all the Synchros. Especially Rose Dragon because she's cool. That's honestly about it. Anything else I'm not really caring about? Nope. Ooh, okay, we got a revived king. Okay, that's all right. Queen of Thorns. Mm. Oh, yay, Black Rose Dragon. All right, sweet, sweet. All right, well, I'm happy now, regardless of what we get. Anything else would be nice? Okay, Psychic Leaf Transfer. If I can just get a Plague Spreader, I'll have everything I want. Not yet. Nope. Tiger Dragon. Well, he looks spiffy. You're gonna make me spend pity points, aren't you? I'm gonna have to spend pity points on the Plague Spreader. I don't want to do that. One pack left. We're gonna get the Plague Spreader. No. No. Well, dang it. Okay, let me look through this. Did I miss it? No, oh, I don't think I did. Dang it. I don't have to spend pity points on it because I think I need that plague spreader. Oh, well. Well, we, we got Black Rose, so that, that's pretty good. I was scared we weren't gonna and I really wanted Black Rose, so honestly, it's fine. It's really not a big deal. I, I have a lot of pity points. It's not a big deal to spend a couple of them to get Plague Spreader. So let's take what we got and go see what we can do with it. Okay, so it's safe to say that my croc pulls weren't so great. No Queen of Thorns, no Black Rose Dragon, and no Miracle Fertilizer. I barely got my playsets of the new plant stuff, but gosh darn it, I want to play Plant Synchro. I even traded Broken a third copy of Lumina in exchange for Lone Fire Blossom so that I'd have a chance at making this deck work. Hopefully that third Lumina won't bite me in the butt. This deck clearly needs some work, but that'll mostly come from future waves of plant support. I've got as many cards that can spam out monsters as possible so that I can make my powerful synchros. Stardust and Red Dragon are my win conditions. Lone Fire is my strongest starter, as it can fetch Giga Plant straight from the deck. Besides that, I've got a few floaters so that I can stall out the game long enough to make something happen. I'm really surprised I managed to eke out a win last episode, so hopefully I can get another one with an arguably stronger deck. Let's see if I have a green thumb. Hey, so this week we're still on Light Sworn with just a few changes. I added a few more synchros that we pulled for now and for the future. Added Plague Spreader Zombie, which I did have to spend four pity points on, and I, the main reason I did that was because Plague Spreader is a really good generic card. You can put it in a lot of different decks. It's very flexible. So I thought, okay, this will be really good for future decks. So, good investment. And second, you may notice I have a third Lumina now. Crossflux came to me and was like, Hey, you got a Lone Fire Blossom? I'd like to trade you for it. And I happen to have a Light Sworn card that I know you need or would be or would benefit from having. So I traded my one Lone Fire Blossom card for this third Lumina that I slotted in. So I'm pretty sure he's probably going to be doing something that involves plants if he really wanted Lone Fire Blossom that badly. But that's fine. I don't, it's. It's fun, whatever. <laughs> I think this deck can handle any plants he's got to throw at us anyway. So, so we should be good. Anyway, let's head over to the duel. Let's rev it up! Okay, we're done making changes. We're done changing our decks. We're here to duel. And duel we shall. Yes. I hope you've brought your A-game, because I've got a new strategy. I've brought stuff. You brought stuff. Well, I brought things. As long as it's 40 cards, you should be good. I brought new things. <laughs> mm. 
And I end. That's it, huh? Not even a tea set. Oh, we're starting things off right then. Oh, I don't care. Alright. Oh, I've got painful choice. Why? Alright, let's but start loading want, my grave. I don't want a painful choice. Do you want to give me no. a botanical girl? No. A mirror force? No. A world tree? No. How about a fragrant storm? No. How about Lord Poison? Those are your five choices. They all suck. I guess you can have the floor fragrant storm. Fragrant storm. Okay. Next, I will give you a thousand life points, and in exchange, I get to draw a card. Ooh. Next up, I will activate the World Tree. So yeah, if you couldn't tell, I'm definitely on plants this time. I finally got the oh, first sorry. wave of uh, new plants. Oh, sorry, that was leg. Let me get fix that. Oh uh, yeah, we don't work. want any cheaters over here. I just thought it didn't work. I thought that I like I didn't type it in right. I will normal summon Lord Poison. Okay. He's poisonous and he's a lord. Okay. I'm just gonna have him attack. Uh, okay, that Ooh, was plague spreader. Plague spreader. Do do I get his effect now, or is that at the end of your turn? It's uh, something you activate during your turn, whenever. My you turn. Want. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. not like Sangin, where it activates on destruction. Okay, I I wanted to make sure because that's the part of Yu-Gi-Oh effects that trip me up sometimes. Basically, unless it says it happens in okay. response to something, it is just something that you can activate. I'm gonna activate his effect now. I'm gonna take this and put it on top of this mm -hmm. and then get him stacking yourself on the field. The problem with Plague Spreader is this could be any deck. And then normal summon Arcus. Oh boy, he's protecting all those light swarms you have. Let's activate this. Instant fusion is a surprise. Let's put out this. Uh, sir, you're forgetting the life point cost. Oh, I am? Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. You gotta buy I'm that. Sorry. You gotta buy that I'm can sorry. of polymerization I'm from the sorry. grocery store. I only Grocery forgot. prices have gone up so much. I'm not trying to cheat. Mm. Now sack everything. That is eight levels. To bring out. Man, you, yes. you and the Synchro Summons, I swear. I, but I love the Stardust. You got it's the Stardust It's one of my dragon. favorite cards ever. Yeah, it's one of my favorites, not just aesthetically, but design-wise, like gameplay-wise. I just, I love its effect. I feel like it's so yeah. balanced and good. He is one of my favorite designs, period, though. I like how shiny he is and his two big purple booby chest things. Yeah, they're like gem boobs. Gem boobs. Alright, uh, you did attack Lord Poison, I did right? attack okay. Lord Poison. Please tell me he doesn't so, have some effect. <laughs> you should probably read your cards. <laughs> this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Nobody reads. Nobody reads cards, that's true. I don't I'm, need I'm to I'm making read. this effect up as I go. I don't need to read. I play Yu-Gi-Oh! Alright, uh, when Lord Poison dies in battle, I just get to revive another plant from my graveyard. Also, well, I assume that's pretty much what every stinking plant does anyway. Also, my world tree gets a counter every time a plant dies. What do, what do counters do? Uh, there's three different effects. Basically, I can either buff my plants, I can destroy something, or I can revive something. Uh-huh, but that won't work on Stardust. Nope, it won't work on Stardust. That's why I like Stardust. Can't do your tricky tricks with him. Alright, well, at least it's just Stardust, so if I can out it, then... The problem is, I can't out it. No, it's 2,500. I would assume that's hard to beat. Mm -hmm. this, especially this stage of Yu-Gi-Oh. He was meta for a reason. Alright, I'm gonna activate Fragrant Storm. Oh, lovely, that card I let you have. Alright, so this card lets me destroy one of my plants. Uh, fun fact, since this is an effect that destroys a card on the field, you can use Stardust to negate this if you want. And Fragrant Storm is destroying one of my own cards. Like, but this doesn't hurt you. 
no, I should probably do it. I don't like it, but I probably should because you're just gonna bring out something better because what, what would be the point otherwise? All right, I'm, I'll sack him. All right, so you're gonna negate. Here he goes. All right, uh, I'll swap Botanical Girl to attack and I'll normal 13, summon 100. my Nettles. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna attack for 12 yeah. and 13. And I will set a card, and that's it. Okay, now he comes back. Yep. And a glorious burst <laughs> of light. <laughs> why? I, why is this card in my deck? All I do is draw it, and I can't use it. <laughs> that was the card you put back using Plague Spreader, so it must be something bad. Oh wait, wasn't I supposed to... Well, you didn't have any light sworn, so it's not like you milled anything. No. Oh, shoot. I forgot. Alright. You. Get off. Alright. Uh, upon summon, I'm gonna try to Torrential Tribute here to destroy all monsters on the field. Uh, you just really want me to keep having to send Stardust. Hey, if to you went to the trouble of summoning Stardust, I want to give you as many opportunities as possible to use him. So, are you gonna negate? If you don't, he's dead permanently. Yes, I will. I don't remember if there, there is. Okay. Distill your I'll turn. Attack. You. Nettles. Yeah. All right. Um. So I will take six hundred and fifty, uh -huh. and I'll activate Nettles effect. If he would be destroyed, I can destroy one of my other plants you instead. You destroy Botanical Girl? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so, basically I could either destroy Nettles or you would destroy Botanical Girl yeah, for and, me. Yeah, either one, Botanical Girl was dead, so hitting Nettles was smart because it gave me a little more damage. Mm -hmm. Not sure if it's going to matter, but hey. Yeah. Um, so a plant was destroyed, so my World Tree is going to trigger, and Botanical Girl also has an effect. When she's sent from the field to the grave, I can add a plant with a thousand yeah. or less defense from deck to hand. Yeah, I So actually I am her. going to search. She is priced in such a way that she cannot search herself. So that's a little awkward. I will add a gigantic cephalotus to hand. Okay. And then I guess I end my turn because there's not much else I can do. And then Stardust comes back. Okay. Yeah, if it's the end of your turn, then Stardust will come back. Okay. Well, I think you just about got me here. I'm gonna go full on defense and pass it over. Okay. Set this card. I guess all I can do is go and attack. You there, you there. Okay, they're both the same thing. They're both nettles. Mm. Um, I'll get two more counters on my tree. Okay. That's about all I can do, so and we're getting somewhere. I will normal summon my Lone Fire Blossom. Okay. And I will tribute said Lone Fire to trigger its effect. Uh -huh. So tribute itself, summon any plant from my deck, regardless of level or any sort of restriction. That's the one I will definitely let you have, sir. Yeah, that one you traded me for. And now I'm going to lose because of it, aren't I? I'm going to demand it back now. Possibly. I'm going to we'll demand it to back. Alright, so <laughs> I summon Regenerating kidding. Rose in Defense Mode. And I think that's about all I'm going to be able to do, I think. Yep, alright, your turn. All this thing is is a big <laughs> staller. <laughs> I don't have quite everything I need just yet, so. Alright, let's summon you and Snipe. let us try let us discard a card right, to try to get Two rid good of that targets card. to choose from here. What are you going for? It's very hard, but I think I'm gonna go for the world tree. Okay. So let's send you to the grave. Wolf. So that means mm. he gets summoned, right? If he's sent to the graveyard by card effect, Snipe Hunter is not a card effect, it's a cost. Alright. Good. Dice. Oh, it lives. All right, I'm going again. I'm sorry. You gotta go. I got two for I one. Need to please get rid of that tree. Oh wow. I'm upset. 
Well, I do often forget that I'm facing the world's luckiest duelist. You're so funny. <laughs> well, I'm still in a pretty bad spot, so... Mm, so angry. <laughs> I'm... Hmm, oh, angry. Okay, I think Snipe Hunter just oh. lost a spot in your deck. Alright, so Regenerating Rose hits the graveyard, which puts a counter on my tree, and then I get two tokens, which can easily be beat over by your monsters. Uh -huh. So I'm not gonna bother putting them out. Uh -huh. So yeah, I just, I just attacked them, the end. The end. The end. And now you bring it back with your tokens. <laughs> then I get to do it all over again. Okay, that's a little interesting. I'm going to... Normal summon my gigantic cephalotus. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. You, no, you're gonna take out my snipe. I will activate the world tree to remove three counters and revive a plant for my graveyard. I'm gonna revive my lone fire blossom mm -hmm. and then use its effect to mm -hmm. tribute itself and summon out a different one for my deck. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring out Giga plant. Mm. My world tree is not a once per turn effect, so as long as I have counters, I can activate effects. Okay. I will remove one counter to buff Giga plant by 400 until the end of the turn. So, at 2800, I am going to go to battle phase and try to attack Stardust. Alright, so you'll take 300 from that. I'm really surprised that went through. And then Cephalotus will attack Snipe Hunter. So you'll take 350. And it is your turn. Oh my gosh, it's the only card I need right now. Uh oh, heart of the cards? <laughs> oh man, and here I thought things were starting to go my way. Oh my gosh. He's back! I'm Just when so he thought he can only come back by <laughs> card effect destruction, he comes back from battle destruction too. Oh, I'm so <laughs> Revenge is sweet, apparently. I take a hundred, but I do get a flower counter. Also, my gigantic cephalotus gets 200 every time a plant dies, so he's at 2050 now. Oh, shoot. Then I guess I need to set and end. End do. Alright, I will activate Pot of Avarice. I no. will shuffle... No, please. Please, I'll never get this lucky again. One, two, three, four, five on top of my what? deck. I You didn't do Giga Plan? No, I don't want him in the deck. I want him in the grave so I can revive him. Oh, shit. And then I'll draw two cards. I'll go ahead and activate Mystical Space to destroy that back row. It doesn't matter. Back in the now. Yeah. And I will normal summon my copy plant. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll activate copy plant's ability. Once per turn, I can copy Gigantic Cephalotus' level. So now they're both level 8s, which means I get to Synchro Summon as well. I'm going to bring out my Red Dragon Arc Fiend. Uh oh. Alright, let's proceed to battle phase, and let's beat over this Stardust one more time. I'm gonna go to main two, set a card, and end it. I'm just ending my turn. Uh, just a pass. Alright. I will... Normal Summon, Sangen, and mm -hmm. activate Monster Gates. I tribute a monster, and I mill until I hit a monster. And whatever monster that is, gets summoned. Alright, Lord Poison. So he comes out. Yeah. Sangin hit the graveyard, so I will get a search here. Yeah. And I'm gonna grab a Lone Fire Blossom. Okay. And I will go to battle phase. I'll have Lord Poison attack over and strike directly for three. Finished. The plague spread. Oh yeah, because he revived himself. I forgot he's banished. Okay. I have one more thing I can try. 
I... One more trick up your sleeve. Oh, I see the dark coming out, and there's the light. There we go. Fortunately, uh -huh. I can banish him before he banishes me. Oh, right. Banish. Oh, man, that Chaos Sorcerer would have definitely ruined it. I almost held on to my bottomless, um, but I was just like, I should probably set it just in case. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I'll just go ahead and end it with my own Synchro Monster then. Ooh, that should have gone I, very differently. I, I'm not... I just... I don't understand. I had Stardust, of all things, from the very beginning. I didn't, I didn't even have to wait a long time like I summoned it too late. I don't know what went wrong. I What went Star wrong was RNG. Stardust is so good, and I didn't... I didn't do anything wrong, as far as I could tell, for I, once. I don't think you did anything wrong either. Uh, your snipe hunter had an empty chambers in his gun. You pitched, what was it, tw two cards? Yes. Yeah, because uh, the turning point was my world tree. Once I was able to get that revival effect off, and I could get my own synchro, that's where I made my comeback. If you had been able to pop that world tree, I was totally dead, because I had nothing else. Um, you don't have extra copies? Well, I do, but it takes time to build up those flower counters. I need three counters just to revive one monster. Yeah. And I would not have lived long enough to get another three counters. So, that was literally your snipe hunter just missing a 66% chance twice in a row. If you had destroyed the world tree, you would have won that. And that was not any fault of your own. That was literally just pure RNG. Shouldn't a good card game not rely totally A good on card RNG? game should not rely entirely on RNG. However, we're not playing a good card game. We are playing Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Love you, Konami. Try the line first. Alright, you're gonna go first again. Draw a card that I thought for sure I would always draw. So, what Gladiator Beast Spartacus? Pretty much the equivalent to that. That'd be hilarious if you actually drew him in your Light Sworn deck. Let's start with this Solar Recharge. Brave Mill Two. No one. One two. No. <laughs> well, we won't be getting a synchro as easily this time around. That instant fusion was pretty clutch last game, though. <laughs> I might as well just give up now. Set. You didn't draw your two cards. Oh, I didn't. Oh, alright, I gotta draw. Yeah, the whole reason you activate recharge <laughs> is to draw cards. <laughs> I wish it had been opposite. Oh. <laughs> you wish you had drawn the witch in the instant fusion instead? Yes. Uh, okay, solar recharge. Draw two, then mill two. You were supposed to draw the witch in the thing first. Well, is it cheating if I reverse it now? It's cheating. Uh, it. technically not. It's just I have knowledge that you have witch infusion. But yeah. I can pretend I don't know. I don't know what I should do. I don't want to make the peoples angry. People will be angry no matter what. Let them be angry. Okay, you are supposed to draw two and then mill? Yeah, it says okay. draw two, then mill two. Okay, I'll, I'll do that then. That's the only chance I have. I'm serious. There's I will no have way. to trust that you're putting the correct cards in the graveyard. The, but I know you're trustworthy. The footage should. I'll say the footage show. will show it. Assuming I didn't and if you're a myself. filthy cheater, I will splash it on screen right now. With yes, air horns. You can shame me. Shame me very publicly and then vow to never play Yu Gi Oh with me again. Yeah. I'll have to replace you with someone else. I don't. I don't know what to do now. I still don't know what to do. Set. And. You could set literally anything. <laughs> something, something. Something, something. something whatever. Something. All right. I'm gonna activate Graceful Charity. No, this is not my Dark World deck. <laughs> Okay. Draw three, discard two. And to be perfectly honest, I don't really have any good discard targets right now. So I will get rid of this card. Yes. 
And the world tree was pretty clutch last game. What? But I don't think what? it's going to be that useful oh, this my. time. Wow. I'll give you another thousand life points and what? draw another card. I'm confused. You're confused? I, I don't understand what's going on. I will... Are you handing me a game? I don't like that. No, I'm going to normal summon Sangen. I don't like that kind of and thing. And I'm going to activate Monster Mood again. Okay. So I'm going to send him to Grave, and okay. let's see what I get. Botanical yeah. Girl, I'll take yeah. it. Okay. You Summon get, her in attack mode. get waifu. I get waifu. Planty waifu. And then Sangin will grant me a search. I'm going to pick up a Lone Fire Blossom. No. I, I regret. I regret giving you the letting you, you regret the Lone Fire Blossom? I regret the Well, if it makes you feel any better, in a couple ban lists, it's going to go down to one, so... Well, you only have one! Well, I have two now. I had one to begin oh, right. with. I needed to trade you for a second copy. Okay, flip. Right. Oh, so it wasn't which. Okay. Into the grave he goes. Now I mill three. You mill three. Oh, you destroy right. one card on the field, so you're going to destroy oh, the Oh, simultaneously. Oh, okay. Yeah, simultaneously. Sure. It's not like choose one. One. Net. Judgment Dragon. Two. Where's Chaos? Come on, Net. Chaos. True. <laughs> Okay. I, reg I, I, I you regret. regret. Okay. Uh, why? Why did I ever think Steck would work for me? I did not have the luck for this. All right. Well, Botanical Girl is dead, right? You're destroying it with Raiko. Yes. All right. So I do get a search. I'm gonna pick up uh, Lakunga, one of my favorite cards from back in the day. He's that garbage. Means... He's garbage. Oh, okay. <laughs> but he's one of my favorites. I always loved his design. Let's do this. Lakunga. Yup. Let's throw you out. Okay. Let's get you. Let's you're throw. oh, you're doing the Lumina chain. Let's throw you out. Pitch Let's the witch. It's true because it rhymes. You. Now you got Marcus, and you've got an open board. You got any more summons? No. Okay. So that's thousand. Thousand, thousand, two thousand, one thousand and two. Twelve hundred and another thousand. Yeah. Alright, I think that's my okay. turn then. Alright, well I got a whole hand of cards to work with here. Is it gonna help me? Maybe, because I drew Dark Hole off the top. Well, every time. Every time, every time it goes huh? my way. Every time. Oh, I'm sad now. Oh, uh, I just remembered. Before all this went down, you would have milled a lot. You'd have milled eight cards in total. Okay. This mm -hmm. might matter because... Two... Three, four, five, no, six, seven, eight. Hot of greed <laughs> and graceful charity. You've lost True Nate earlier. <laughs> MST. What, are you going to lose Delinquent Duo, Change of Heart, uh, am I gonna, what else? Am I gonna Mirror lose, Force. Am I gonna lose Plague Spreader and Every Tuner. And Heavy Storm. Well, you kind of want to lose Plague Spreader, to be honest. Well, that way I you know, can revive him. Alright, I am going to normal summon my Lone Fire. I'm going to use yes. its effect yes. to bring out yes. Giga Plant, Lovely. and I'm going to attack for 24. That's all I got. I hope you can't kill him. It's not going to matter for more than one turn, because it never does, but... Dark. And light. Please be Sorcerer. Please be Sorcerer. Please be Sorcerer. Ah, okay. Um, you using the effect? I'm not using his effect. I'm just going to beat you over. Well, you're not right using now. the effect yet, I'm sure. No, but actually, yes. Uh -huh. So I'll take actually, 600. Yes. Oh, you're getting damaged now. I'll use this effect. Me too, yep. Alright, so it costs you a thousand life points, and then how many and cards? And my instant fusion! And your instant fusion. Alright, so everything is nuked, including himself and your back row. And then I'm gonna lose my hand. And then, what? I take 300 for every card that was destroyed by this effect. You had you three. Do? Yeah, you had three, and I had five. So that's 8 times 3 is 2400 damage to me. And now we're in a top deck war. 
Alright, and then I end my turn. Oh, I would hope so. Well, Otherwise, we're both just sitting here. I end my turn. <laughs> I set a card and end my turn. We are playing some caveman Yu-Gi-Oh right now. It's like Legend of Blue Eyes all over here. Oh! I don't know what to do because it's like, what can I do? You don't have anything? I kind of have something. I just don't know if it's going to be good enough. I do have Heavy Storm to destroy all your back row. Oh, okay. Beckoning light. Oh, call the haunted. That yeah, would have been gonna nasty. Get chaos back. Yeah, and that would have totally ended me. All right, I'm free to activate my world tree and summon nettles, uh -huh. and attack for twelve hundred. Your turn. Sukiomi. Suk. I haven't seen her in a hot minute. Attack over it. Attack over. All right, this does give me a counter. And then Sukiyomi will go back to your hand at the end of your turn. Yeah. Uh, yay! Your turn. <laughs> uh, summon Lila. Lila. The name is Lila. Oh, 17. I'm alive. Attack. Probably not for long, but I am Next alive. Two, I at least it wasn't Jane. Into defense, and then get rid of your world tree. Okay, using her effect <clears> to blow it up. Yes. That's fair. See, the world tree's just too slow. Oh, is this gonna help? This is gonna help. I've got Pot of Avarice! One. Okay. Two. Okay. Three. Okay. Four. Okay. Five. Okay. I'll give this a good shuffle. And then I will draw two. Ah. <laughs> You, you win this round. I do? Yeah. No, you put something down. Your I put something down. I'm bluffing. Oh, you better call my bluff. Tsukiyomi. Flip. And attack. I activate Mystical Space Typhoon to destroy itself. Okay. And then I die. Uh, wow, I one minute, to be quite honest. Chaos Emperor Dragon? <laughs> yeah, but you usually have something that completely destroys my big monster that I'm so happy to get. Yeah, it's true. I didn't have my bottomless trap hole that time. But alright, we're going to a true game three. Wow Let's see if we can pull it out. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go second again. You're because gonna go second. It gives me an extra card and it means you don't have a battle phase. Your Light Sworn deck's very aggressive, so... Now let's start with a good old Pot of Greed. Pot of Greed, he's a smiling. Before I d d mill something good again. Yeah, draw them before you lose them. Yeah. I'll summon you. Here's and I Jane. Will, I will set one card, and I will pass. Alright. Let's see if I can't make something fancy smancy happen here. I'll start off with Painful Choice again. You always have Painful Choice. Yep, I do. Alright, one to the grave, two to the grave, three, four, five. Those are your choices. I guess maybe you can Fragrant Storm. Excellent choice! Because that is probably the most useless card. Alright, I will follow this up with Reasoning! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, what level do you think I'm gonna what, hit? What level are most of your monsters? Three to four. Three to four, again. Okay, which one? What is Lone Fire? Is that two? Lone Fire is three. Three. So you're calling three? I'm gonna, I'm gonna call three. Okay. Mirror Force. Pot of Avarice. Change of Heart. Yes. Keep it coming. Upstart. Alright, hit my Pot of Greed next. Mystical Space. Alright. Plant Food Chain. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy store! Come on! Let's keep it going! For a tribute! We're all tree! Pot of green! <laughs> Say 
Ringan. He's level three. No. <laughs> Turn one. I've got 18 cards in my graveyard. <laughs> They're all spells. <laughs> They're all spells and traps. <laughs> and revive my Sangin. No, that's incorrect. I don't want Sangin. <laughs> no. I want Botanical Girl. Okay. No, you, need, you got poison. I got Lord Poison. <laughs> Alright, well, screw it. Pretend it's Botanical Girl, because I'm just going to destroy it with Fragrance Storm. Okay. Do you have a response? I... No. Okay, I destroy Botanical Girl, not Lord Poison, and then I draw a card. <laughs> it was not a plant, so I don't draw another ah! card. But Botanical Girl will let me search for a Lone Fire Blossom. Aww. Did You're I normal summon? I Did I normal I... summon? What? Well, I, I reasoned and okay. then I premature buried. I haven't been able to attack anything to destroy it, and I don't think you special. I think I you haven't normal summoned grave. yet. I reasoninged and then I used premature burial. I haven't actually summoned yet. No. So I'm gonna summon Lone Fire Blossom. Of course. <laughs> I'll send it to grave and bring out. Uh, I really don't know what your face down is. So I'm gonna summon out that regenerating rose. Mm. I'll set a card uh -huh. and I'll end the turn with half of my deck in my graveyard. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I'm supposed to know. I'm sorry. One, two, it's one. really hard to remember ah! all the light sworn mills. Okay, let's summon you. Oh, all the Janes. All the Janes. Look at them. So many, so all many right. Jean of Arcs. Because I think that's who it's supposed to I'm be. I'm pretty sure. All right, so one of the tokens will be summoned, and you'll I kill will, it with Jane, I'll and then I still have Jane, one yeah. left. And that's what I was doing because I knew it was just going to summon a token. All right, and Torn. Angel Torn. End it! I will activate Call of the Haunted okay. to revive Lone Fire Blossom. You have a response. I really don't like this card, no. Okay. I will sack Lone Fire Blossom for Giga Plants. I will then Gemini summon my Giga Plants. Mm -hmm. So that gives up my normal summon to do this. Okay. So now he has access to his ability. Which is, once per turn, I can revive a plant from my grave. Uh -huh. I'm going to revive Lone Fire Blossom and uh -huh. tribute it to summon out another plant. Okay. I'm going to bring out Nettles. Okay. I will I then... Confused why? Why would I bring out Nettles? Yeah. Because my token is a level 3. So oh. now I get to synchro oh, summon wait, for a level. Oh, he's a tuner. I forgot. He is a tuner. So I get to bring out my magical android. Okay. I think I will proceed to battle. Okay. So android will attack Jane uh -huh. for six hundred. Six hundred. And Giga Plant will attack Jane for six hundred. Also, wouldn't you have milled four more cards at the end of your last turn? Sorry, I'm sorry. One. Ah! Oh, you would have had a wolf on the field. Okay. Um, that's fine. You can just summon him. I wouldn't have attacked him anyways. Okay. I would have wanted Four. to get rid of your Jane so that you'd stop milling. Okay. Alright, um, after my battle phase, I think that's it. So as I end, my magical android gives me 600 life points for every psychic I control. So I get 600. Oh my gosh. Can I? I think I can win this turn. You have a line of play that's going to cause 7,800 points of damage. With this? Boy, it's illusion. Okay. okay. So I'm you will revive... Lumina. Okay. Okay. I'm going to sack Sangin. I'm going to bring a chain back. Okay. I'm going to banish Sangin. Oh, I see what you're doing. I'm gonna banish a chain. Okay. Get Which one is out. it? Sorcerer? 
Okay. I'm not. He's not gonna attack because I'm gonna banish your Giga Plant. That's very rude. <laughs> but hey, hey, I had Stardust. What? Yeah, sir. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, I beat over him fair and square. You just banished him. Well, you have done plenty of rude things to me many, many a time. Ever, lots of time. So okay, and now I can change a part. Really? Your android. <sighs> Give him to me. Okay. So how much is that? That's forty-five, fifty-five, sixty-five, and eight is sixty-five and eight is seventy. Oh, actually, I might still be alive here. Really? Eighteen. One thousand. 21 and 24. Oh, oh 200. no! No, you've got to be kidding me! 200. Really? Okay. End turn, change of heart ends, get your Android back. Okay, um... Right? Yes, I do. However, during the end phase, you get... I guess you get the 600 life points. Oh, I guess so. For the magical android effect. Do I? Or what, does he go back to your side of the field before the turn technically ends? I... Both effects are mandatory. So that means you get to order them however you want. So you would order it so that you get the life points first. Yeah. Alright. Dark hole. Dark hole. <sighs> dark hole. Okay, it's not dark hole. Do I mill? I cannot remember. Yeah, you'll mill five. Okay. One. Two. Judgment Three, Dragon. Four, five. Okay. Oh. All right. I activate. If this is. Sent if he's sent from the hand oh, to the grave. Shoot. Yeah. Fully. Okay. I will. I don't really have much left in my deck. I've milled it all already. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> Alright, I will... Think about how bad that was going to be for you, though. You were just going to draw card after card for turn after turn with no monster. Yeah, that's true. I would have gone, like, ten turns. Thirteen. Even, like, ten or thirteen Even turns. though most of those cards were, like, what, Graceful Charity, Pot of Greed, Pot of Avarice? Like, those were turns away from each other. Yeah. I'm really in an awkward spot. I guess I will set a monster, and I'll have Android attack over the Chaos Sorcerer. Okay. And then at the end of my turn, I'll get another 600 back. Okay. Just in case it matters. Okay, I, I'm i going to use Luminous Effect. I'm going to send this to the grave. So that way I can get... Where is she? Oh, there she is. Aaron, get rid of your face Aaron. down. Aaron. Yeah. Let's reborn. Well... Oh. You Chaos. know, reborn. Chaos Sorcerer. Okay. Banish. Yeah, he's back. Okay. Guess who I'm banishing. Yeah, yeah. There yeah. you go. Okay. Goodbye. And now battle phase. And, uh... Aaron exactly got you this. Because it auto-shuffles my monster into the deck. Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and show you what it was. It was Lord Poison. Oh, shit. I could have revived one of my plants back. Oh, great. Um, but I could've... Do, do you don't get that effect now? No, because Lord Poison only revives if he's destroyed in battle, but okay. he's not. He's being shuffled. Ah, I see. Alright, you got it. And then just Wolf or anyone, really. Wow. I am very shocked. I I really thought I was going to win. Well, your speech. deck is really explosive. I mean... We, well, I've really seen many thought, times over just I how love, many times you can summon in this deck. I love how I lost the Synchro fight in the Synchro era. <laughs> synchro but, versus Synchro. And I synchro. did better without Synchros. Kind of. A little bit. Well, I really, honestly, Although, I again, to be fair, you didn't really lose the Synchro battle. It was... You I lost did. the die roll. I still lost. Technically, yes, but... I am absolutely <clears throat> shocked. I really thought I was not going to win this match. Like, maybe I'd win a d one or two duels, but not the whole match. Well, like I... one duel. I kind of figured you'd probably win. This is the first draft of my plant deck. And it's just the first wave of major plant support. 
Um, you got apparently I, you got really lucky with that tree on the first one. Yeah, I did. I was surprised it lasted that long because yeah, if you just destroy it with like mystical space typhoon or something, like I'm out of luck. But man, Crossroads of Chaos was so unkind to me. I was looking forward to all this plant stuff because I really want to make this plant deck work. That's why I traded you for one of the lone fires because I only had one. Mm -hmm. Like I need three lone fires. I only have the one Giga plant. Uh, from this pack, I did not pull any Miracle Fertilizers, which I really need. Yeah. Um, I barely pulled play sets of like Botanical Girl. I've only got two Lord Poison. I guess I got the Copy Plant, but like, no Queen of Thorns. I didn't get Queen of Thorns, and I didn't get Black Rose Dragon either. Right. So, this set was really unkind to me. I also did not get the Plague Spreader Zombie. Uh, I saw that you got him. Yes, I did. I got him and I did get Black Rose Dragon. Well, okay, I mean, I got Black Rose Dragon. I had to spend my pity points to get Plague Spreader. I did not pull him. Okay. That's probably a fair purchase, though. Plague Spreader is really good. In Light Sworn, especially. Because one, he's I hope dark. he's worth it later, because he certainly didn't win it for me this time. <laughs> well, he easily could have. He could, but uh, if I we, mean, all, he's, he's got if so we much went off of a bunch of coulds and woulds and what is, then, you know. Well, I mean, it's clear that you've seen the potential he has in your deck. Because well, yeah. you're, you're milling constantly. And it doesn't matter if you mill Plague Spreader, because he can just revive himself. And not only that, but, like, you can stack cards on top of your deck. So if you have a dead card in your hand, you know you can just mill it with a Light Sworn effect. Like True. with a Wolf, for example. If you have Wolf stuck in your hand, you can Plague Spreader to well, put him on top, and then he mills. Well, as you saw, I tried that, and then I forgot, and then he didn't actually mill. Oh, is that the card you put on top in game one? Yeah. Was it a Wolf? It was Wolf. Because oh, okay. remember I drew him? I said I drew my stinking brick thing. Okay. I think I complained about it. I don't know. I did in my head. Yeah. That's probably what happened. Okay, yeah, so. Well, there's still a lot of synergy there. And also in your particular version of Light Sworn, because again, you're running basically Twilight Sworn, because you got the dark stuff in there. Yeah. Plague Spreader's another dark monster, so there's potential use that way. It is true. But yeah. Uh, my plant deck, obviously it needs some more work. I think it's about as good as I can make it at the moment. I still need some more of the newer plant cards. Well, I mean, it's still a problem. I mean, it's not bad. Yeah. I just, I really wanted to get Lakunga off once. I know. I love that guy. Let me see if I can find him. He's one of the few cards left in my deck. He has such a weird effect. I can banish two water monsters from my grave to summon a token. Uh. But, and it's not like a once per turn ability, so as long as I have the material, I can just keep pumping out tokens. Mm -hmm. And Botanical Girls because and again, Lord Poison. You love, are, you love those slow burn decks. Yeah, you incremental love this, advantage. You love Ghost Trick. Yeah. Anything that just completely stalls the game and brings it to a crawl, you love. But yeah, there's actually a. a little neat bit of synergy there with the Lakanga, because the Botanical Girls and Lord Poisons are all water attribute. Yeah. So once they've gone to the grave and they've served their purpose, I can banish them for free two-level token, which can help with my synchro summoning. That's true. So I really wanted to pull them off. Maybe I'll get a chance to in the future, but... I'm, I'm sure you will. Um, I'm, I'm gonna sure have to figure this deck out. Yeah, I, I need to figure out how to synchro a little faster. Because I'd like to synchro more often. Mm. I'm kind of still relying well, on chaos. Again, we uh, each new pack will have better and better synchros. Basically, and better the, and better tuners. Oh yeah, tuners. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. Yeah, because like I think the next good generic tuners that we get access to are uh, Blackwing, Blackwing Gale the Whirlwind, super great dark tuner. Not even if you're running Black Wings. Like, everybody back in the day ran Gale the Whirlwind just because it was that Oh, good. I know. Because I saw him, like, all the time. And then uh, Glow Up Bulb, which I really need for my plant deck because it's a plant. But again, it's one of those generic cards like Plague Spreader Zombie where you don't have to run it in plants. It's just generically useful no matter what deck you're running. 
But uh, next time is Crimson Crisis. I can't remember what's in the set, I just remember it has Red Dragon Arc Fiend on the cover. I think the Assault Mode version? Maybe? Something like that. I don't remember. Either I never way. remember what's in anything. Either way, I'm I hope so you guys enjoyed, that. and we will see you in the next one. Have a blessed day.